One man is accused of buying nine guns that were tied to 17 shootings across Albuquerque. APD releasing new details today into a three year long investigation. News 13's Natalie Wattis has more on how they were able to track down all the guns. These individuals who are passing these firearms and acting as the middle person to put our firearms in the arms of individuals who shouldn't possess some or have not purchased them. They're a big part of why we have so many legal firearms in the city of Albuquerque and what's driving our violent crime rates. APD Police Chief Harold Medina highlighted the investigation into Aiden Kellner, a 25-year-old man who legally bought nine guns between October 2019 and December 2021. Gun stores did nothing wrong. Uh, clerks at these stores did nothing wrong. These were properly purchased firearms. The thing is, Mr. Kellner then provided these firearms to others, and that's where we started to see the issues and the problems. Seven of those guns were eventually recovered and tied to 17 shootings in the Albuquerque metro and surrounding areas between 2019 and 2023, resulting in the injury of five people. Notably, one of the guns matched a shooting at a Halloween party in Bernalillo County in 2020. Another gun's shell casings were matched to six shootings, with two victims from a shootout at a party in Northwest Albuquerque and two other victims from other shooting incidents. Yet another one of the gun's casings was matched to four different shootings. Of the seven guns recovered, six were in the hands of someone else. One found as far away as Phoenix, Arizona. There was one where I, I want to say like 50 something shots were fired um, and maybe 10 homes were hit during that, th that party. Um, and it's a miracle nobody died. And it's a miracle we have no fatalities in any of these shootings. In total, APD says these nine guns are responsible for 163 shots fired. Chief Medina giving a word of warning. We want our criminals to know. We want individuals involved in these activities to know that we will find those shell casings, we will trace those guns, and we will build a strong case for these straw purchases at the state level with the data that we're able to collect. Natalie Wattis, KRQE News 13. Chief Medina says the suspect in this case, Kellner, is currently out awaiting trial with a GPS monitor on. He was arrested in January for shooting at his ex-girlfriend's car, Two other people are charged in the shooting so far, Kellner's brother Riley and Jimmy Ward.